Hey everyone, welcome to a new video of Kitkun at OpenRoco's Tycoon 2. In this video I will show you how to move your entrances and exits to any arbitrary location. So let's just build a boomerang. And let's put it in test mode. Now the entrance and exit are here. Normally you can uh, always re uh, move the entrance and exit along the station. But in Open Road Coast Tycoon 2, you can really move them anywhere you want. So, for example, let's just take this uh, exit to move it. Uh, we go into Tile Inspector. Uh, we select the exit. It's shown as entrance here, but uh, then you see the entrance type is right exit. We select it, we copy it, and let's move it here to this path. Now, you can see it has a uh, two doors, it has a lower door and a higher door. The higher door is normally connected to the coaster and the lower door should normally be connected to the path. So here we also uh, move the lower door towards the path and then we just uh, make a path here so that the path is connected. Now for guests to actually use this uh, exit uh, we have to select it again in the tile inspector and then here you can see a make usable button. When you press it, that exit uh, will now be used by the coaster. So now we can remove the original exit. The mechanics and guests will now use this right exit. Uh, we can do the same for the right entrance. We just uh, select it in Tile Inspector, we copy it, and then we can paste it here. Again, the lower door, we will connect to the path. And what's important is that we use the Make Usable button, so that this entrance will actually be used by the right. And because we use the Make Usable button, as you can see, when we build a queue path uh, on it now, it will get a uh, this queue banner. For example, the original exit now no longer has that banner and the guests will just consider this a normal path. Now we can remove the original entrance because it no longer works. And this is now the entrance used by the guests for the ride. You may see some uh, graphical glitches here on the banner on top of the entrance. Uh, that's a side effect of uh, moving the entrance. Uh, I'm not sure uh, if anything can be done about it, but I usually make entrance and exits invisible anyway, so for me it's usually not uh, that much of an issue. Now let's uh, open the ride and let's see what happens when our guests uh, enter the ride. So. Let's uh, put some guests in the park. Now, when guests enter uh, enter through this entrance, um, they will actually walk a bit to this in this direction, and then they will teleport to their car. Because normally, uh, when they go through an uh, entrance, they they spawn again on the side of the coaster and then they will walk to their car. They will still do the same, but because this entrance is a, a bit away from the coaster, they will just walk here for a bit and then teleport towards the, the train, towards their car. When they exit the ride, uh, they will actually walk uh, to the exit. So if it's really far away, it may take a while for the guests to uh, have actually exited the ride. You can see them now walking towards the exit, and it's actually quite funny to watch. Now, one thing you should take into account, uh, for now at least, um, is that your exit should always be at the same height as your coaster. If the entrance is lower, uh, the guests will just... Uh, walk towards the, in, in the direction of the uh, exit and then they will just fall down and if the exit is higher than uh, the coaster they will just walk to the point under the, the exit so yeah uh, 
this may be something that uh, will be tackled later in Open Rokos Tycoon 2. But for now, just keep in mind to place your exit at the same height as your uh, as your coaster. For the entrance, uh, it should work uh, like normal if you place the entrance higher or lower than your coaster. Anyway, I hope uh, this will be uh, useful for you uh, at some point. Sometimes, uh, especially for when you are shoestringing your coasters, then especially then moving your entrances and exits can be uh, very useful. All right, uh, that was it for this video, and I hope to see you again in the next one. See you later. Mm -hmm.